So, this, my friends, is the brand new Maxi 2.0. Look at this brand new finish. Woo! What's up, bros? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to another product spotlight video. I am super pumped to bring you this product spotlight on one of my favorite lights, the 8th Lab Maxi 2.0. If you guys are long time viewers of the channel, you may remember when I made the original video on the Ape Labs Maxi. So this right here is the brand new tour pack. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's bigger, it's heavier, but it's also a lot better. So, what do you get inside? Inside, of course, we have some reading materials, a Blab sticker, QR code for downloading the app, and of course, an instruction manual. Additionally, you also get the brand new updated remote. We'll compare and contrast it with the old one in just a bit, so let's put this back. Now, something that you didn't get with the older tour pack is this router. This router is used for controlling your Ape Labs with DMX. When I first made my original video on the Ape Lab Maxis. A lot of people were complaining that it was kind of tough to control them via DMX. This is actually something that was always available. You could always go and buy this separately. However, now it comes included with your tour pack. And this is pretty simple. Essentially, you're going to plug in a DMX controller or the app. You could use it right on your phone. And then this will send out wireless DMX signal to your Maxi so that you can control them with DMX. However, this is something that you're not really gonna need if you're going to be using the Ape Labs remote. Ape Labs is all about simplicity. So when you buy Ape Labs, you don't really wanna go the traditional DMX route. You wanna use this remote. This is an RF remote. It's a radio remote. It's not an IR remote, which means that you don't have to point this remote directly at the lights for them to respond. You can point this anywhere and the lights will do what you tell them directly from this remote. Now the tour pack will not only house your fixtures, six of them, but it will also charge them. All you have to do is go inside of your power brick, plug this bad boy in, and you plug it into the wall and your fixtures will start charging. Once you plug your fixtures in, you'll notice that they'll all start blinking red. That means that they are now charging. When the fixtures start blinking a green color, that means that they are fully charged and ready for your event. Lastly, one thing that I love that they've included in this tour pack is this individual charger. So this is really great where you can go in and just charge in a light individually. And here it is. This is the brand new Maxi 2.0. Let's take a closer look. brand new finish Woo! it looks so so good if I do say so myself it's got a very similar look to the old one but there's a ton of R&D that went into this light to make it so much better than the original one all right so let's take a look at the key differences between the maxi 1.0 and the brand new maxi 2.0 first off let's take a look at the housing as you guys remember the original maxi had this chrome finish that was super prone to scratching if you guys can see there and it was a huge as you guys can see huge fingerprint magnet that many people complained about they didn't like that so what they've done here is they've stayed with the aluminum build however there is a brand new powder coat finish that they've added to it that just makes it look super modern super robust i think it just looks so much better than the old one and as you guys can see here by looking them on the sides it is a little bit thicker another thing that people complained about with the original maxi was the yoke this little lever here this little handle here that was meant for mounting this up on like a tripod it gets the job done however as you guys can see it's very flimsy and it was just something that not many people use the 2.0 however that has been completely revamped it sits flush right underneath the leg so if you look here on the side 
it sits very flush, so no more dangling around. So as you guys can see here, the yoke much more refined, a huge improvement from the original. Additionally, this yoke can also be used as a bit of a kickstand. If you tighten these up a little bit, you can now angle your maxi as so. And now you can reposition your light beam accordingly. Now, believe it or not, the specs are almost exactly the same. You still have three 15 watt LEDs making for a total of a 45 watt fixture. However, the brand new light, the 2.0, is actually two times brighter than the original. Additionally, the remotes have also been redesigned. As you guys can see, they look fairly similar. However, the new remote just looks a little bit more modern in my opinion. They've gone with this matte finish that I think looks very nice. Now I'm happy to report that the remotes are interchangeable, meaning that you can use the new remote with the old one and the old remote with the new one. Additionally, not only do these come in this slate gray color, but they also come in a white cream color. I'm personally partial to the gray. I think these just look badass. If you remember when I made the original video on the Ape Labs, I mentioned that they were water resistant. Well, I'm happy to tell you that not only are these water resistant, but they actually got an IP rating. The seal is much better on this. The housing actually allows for these to be an IP65 rated fixture, which means that you can use these inside, outside, water, not gonna be an issue here. Now, additionally, they are using different LEDs. The LEDs that they were using before were RGBW, essentially meaning red, green, blue, and white. These are a little bit different. These are using RGBAW. AW essentially meaning amber white. In layman's terms, that more or less means a warm white. And the reason that they did this is they did a lot of R&D. They reached out to a ton of DJs. They reached out to a ton of people who actually use Ape Labs. They actually reached out to me. They said, hey man, what do you guys think about the amber? What do you guys think about these colors? That's one of the things about the brand that I love is, you know, they're actually going out there. They're going out of their way and asking the consumers, what do you want to see in the light? What is it that you guys want? Now, the first nine colors within these lights are actually the most most popular colors that people suggested, that people requested. So it's a little bit different than the old maxis. The old maxis started with a traditional red and then you kind of worked your way up to green, blue, and then you had a bunch of different color macros, color mixes. This one's a little bit different. You're getting right off the bat, you're getting some of those first color macros that people want to see. Now, when I made the original video, a big thing that people pointed out is the fact that these weren't hex fixtures. Essentially, these are quad LED fixtures. Now, Ape Labs still chose to stick with a quad LED. Now, why did they do this? In layman's terms, it's because of brightness. Think of a circle. When you have four colors, you cram four of those diodes into the same size circle. Now, if you have six diodes, six colors, you're now gonna have to make those diodes a little bit smaller to fit them in the same LED. And what happens when you do that is you sacrifice brightness. And honestly speaking, I'm actually okay with that. So, as previously mentioned, the first nine colors that are programmed into the maxi are the most popular uplighting colors. So the first couple ones are just a mix of amber. So you have amber one, amber two, amber three, and then you start getting into your blushes. So you have like a blush pink, then you have your little bit of greens and blues coming up next. And then once you get to red, that's when we actually start getting into your traditional color macro. So we have our red, we have our green, we have our blue. Next up, you're gonna see that amber tones that are coming up there. And then additionally, you still have a ton of other color macros to choose from. Now, the same great features return from the original Maxi, so if I go ahead and press the mic button, the best sound active technology in the game. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. You can still do strobes. You can still do color changes. And of course, you can also just use them as up lights. Like as previously mentioned, you have a ton of colors to choose from. And look at how beautiful the colors look. Even on camera, I'm shooting the MX straight on and the colors just look incredible. Wow. So who are these lights for? If you are a solo op DJ, if you're just working events, you're running and gunning and you're doing it all alone and you don't have a lot of space, these are the lights for you and these are the lights that I recommend. I love the fact that they're a lot brighter. I love the fact that they've addressed a ton of the issues that people had with the original model. And I love the fact that they are just, you know, super easy and simple to use. So if you're that DJ that does weddings all by himself and you also don't have a big truck, 
This is the lights that you should go with because they're just so easy and simple to use. I mentioned this a million times, but Ape Labs also has some of the best sound active technology in the industry. If I go ahead and toggle sound active with these lights. Let me go ahead and turn it on. You can see right off the bat. Also, they'll pulse, they'll do chases, they'll do fades. They do a ton of sophisticated light shows that you just won't see in a standard sound active light. This is really nice next level stuff and that's honestly the reason why a lot of people love using Ape Labs. It looks like a lighting programmer actually is sitting there with you as you're DJing. It's incredible how great the sound active technology is. Now if you have the original Maxis and you're looking to kind of mix and match with them, just do be forewarned that the programs are a little different so you're not going to get a seamless light show if you're mixing the old Maxis with the new Maxis. That's actually something that I learned myself so be forewarned however in my opinion if you have the original maxis and you're happy with them I would say hold off the biggest reason why you may want to get these if you do have those original maxis is that you are gonna get a bigger punch you're gonna get a little bit more brightness out of these than you will with the old ones if you're new to ape labs however these are the ones that you gotta go with. These are absolutely awesome. Not only do you get those brand new color macros, you get more power, but you also get this brand new form factor that just looks so elegant, so modern. It's just all around dope. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you found it informative. I wanna send a huge shout out to my good friends over at Ape Labs for sending these products over for review. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the description of this video. I'll be happy to answer any questions additionally i'll be leaving some purchase links down below as well as links to where you can get more information about ape labs if you enjoyed this video and found it informative please be sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another product spotlight video signing off dj bar stay awesome bros peace